We're just going to jump right into it. You guys have all seen this video, right? Everybody asking me, Jack, why you ain't made a video about the Olympics? I'm not in a position to tell people what to do, you know, and uh, you can't tell somebody how to feed their family, how to provide for their family, or the goals they want to achieve in life. But why even want to represent a country that don't love you? That's the question I ask. They give gay people reparations, Asians reparations. We've been held behind over 500, 600 years. They, they can't even take the, the lynching act out. The George Floyd policing bill, they're ignoring that. So why you even want to represent a country that's been showing you for years that they hate you, that they don't love you? Think about that. If y'all want to support Shikari, if they don't let her run, everybody boycott the Olympics and see what the Olympics would be like without us. That's the question we need to ask. Why are we even a part of the Olympics representing a country that don't love us? Ask yourself that. I don't typically call people out of their names, and I believe everyone has redeeming qualities, including Steven Jackson. I still think so after watching the dude go up in the stands and beat up on the fans. That being said, if you're taking advice from this dude, that's a mistake. If you are letting your children, your students, or your athletes listen to this dude, that's also a mistake. For now, I'll completely disregard the whole America doesn't love you stuff, but the man said, if they don't let Shakari run, we need to boycott the Olympics. That has got to be the stupidest thing I've heard all week. We all want Shakari to run, but she took a banned substance. For everyone saying, but it's just a little bit of weed and she was going through some, you know, going through the loss of her mom. I understand losing your mom is painful and sure, needing a release from that. And while my initial thought is we didn't help her win in the trials, it doesn't matter. Her suspension is a consequence. I don't care if they told her she could only wear yellow on days ending and why. That was the United States track and field's rule. And in case we forgot, she agreed to it. We don't suspend rules because you're going through stuff. We sure as hell don't suspend rules because you happen to be really good at something. I'm not ranting on Shakari because she came out and said exactly what we expect our role models to say. She came out and she said she apologizes and while she was going through some stuff, she doesn't have an excuse. That's admirable. Not what Steven Jackson is saying. He's saying shades of what happened in school when the best player can't get his grades up. We go to the teacher and we try to get them to change the grade, make an exception for this student because they are really good. If anything, that student should have been getting additional help when they noticed it was an issue in the beginning. As a matter of fact, where was the rest of Shakari's family during this time? It's not just Steven though. There have been a lot of athletes come out and defend her. What do we tell our student athletes? Yeah, you made a mistake, but you're good. And everyone wants to watch you perform, so they should definitely give you a pass. It's become apparent that a lot of the athletes these days are just entitled babies that don't really feel as if the rules apply to them. An absolute joke. The sad thing is there are actually enough people talking about boycotting the Olympics that some of the other black athletes feel disheartened. For example, Gabby Thomas. This was never a race thing. If it were, why is Gabby not getting the same negative press? I feel for Shakari, and I definitely wish her the best. I'm hoping, although it won't be for the 100, she will be able to attend the Olympics and do the relays. I'm also thankful for her being a true role model and taking responsibility for her actions. As for these other athletes, 